What's going on, <laughs> peeps? Um, so I'm about to talk about the NoFap journey continues. <laughs> and I just want to discuss things on here or about this, basically. And one of the things is I'm going to be doing this for a long time. Those are like my premonitions. And also what I want to do. And then I guess you could ask the question, which I would ask the question to myself, or you would ask it to me. Why would you do this? And basically, no sex and no masturbation. More so, no ejaculating, but no sexual, um, physical contact, basically. And there's a couple of reasons I want to, I'll state, and then I'll go over some other things. But, um, it's also things that I've noticed before. And one would be, which is the main one, and by all means, before I get into this, you don't have to follow this, you don't have to do this. It's just, uh, I've came to a lot of conclusions, but I'm still searching too, and nothing's defined and set in stone, so this isn't gonna be like, this is it, but I'm gonna be doing it for a long time. And I don't know <laughs> how long exactly, but until kingdom comes or I decide differently. But, so, what I've noticed, th there's a whole background story, but I'm not going to really get into that. Maybe we'll touch upon it. I also want to say subscribe to the channel if you uh, haven't, but I'm real honest with everything I say. And I'm looking for like the best health and, you know, mental and spiritually too. Whatever makes me feel the best is uh, I'm going to be honest to how I feel. And like I said, nothing's set in stone. Everything's subject to change. So, you know, one one time in my life I may be like this, and another time I may be doing different things. But as for now, one of the things that I notice, and it's the biggest thing which deters me the most, is every time that I have had sex throughout my life, after after it, me going, um. I felt like there's no more to life. I felt like life's the end. There's nothing else I want to do. And I'd feel like kind of confused. <laughs> As a Libra would be. If you don't know, I am a Libra. I'm actually probably going to do a, a video on that. But the point being is after that I would have sex any time in my life. I would feel like there's nothing more to do. I don't know if you feel this way or if you felt this way before, you could let me know. But I felt this way many a times. And yeah, it's just, I felt this way. Like there's no point to life after this. And I'm, I'd be confused. Like, what do I want to do now? What do I want to do after this is accomplished or this is done? Um, I don't have any kids, so obviously didn't plant any seeds. <laughs> and another thing would be feeling tired after you do that, after you go, especially for men. I don't know if it's the same for women, but I would imagine so. I, to a degree, when I'm not talking about feeling tired, because I feel like that might be different. Because I've heard women can do more orgasms and, you know, uh, come, whatever you want to say, <laughs> in that retrospective. And that may be true, but I've just stayed in my experience. I've always stayed from my experiences. They're not really my opinions. If they were my opinion, I would say that. These are all experiential things that I'm denoting from or, or experiencing before. So I'm not just talking a bunch of blibber jabber. <laughs> Anywho, so just to wrap that first step up is I always felt like I didn't want to do anything after. I felt like my life was complete, but also not. Um, I felt confused too, in a way. 
and I felt, again, tired and just not wanting to do anything after. And a loss of energy, for sure. And I've felt this many a times. It's not just one time. So, that would be the one reason why I'm going to continue on this journey. And actually why I want to. I didn't really have an intent before. Maybe just experiencing some things. And this brings me on to something else I want to say for people that have like maybe a porn addiction or maybe just a sexual addiction, which there's nothing wrong with either of them necessarily, especially, uh, you know, if you want to have sex and go have as much sex and go experience it and do whatever you do, whatever you may please. But what I'm going to say is, um, <clears throat> what I was going to connect that to is like, for the people that have addictions, such as like porn or masturbation, I just want to throw this in there real quick. I know it seems to be when you have sex and when you um, watch or when you masturbate or when whatever the things are, you want to keep doing it. It's, I don't want to say it's an addiction. There definitely is a high. I'll get into a bunch of things, but it goes down really quick. So it feels really good, but to be truthful, um, I feel like there's a bigger high that mentally and spiritually when you actually avoid it and sustain from it. Now, sustain from it. Now, you don't need to necessarily do this. Like I said, you can experience what you want and everyone's going to have a different path and choices. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with it anyway. But just for the people that want to maybe uh, practice no fap or, you know, for reasons, whether it's physical, whether they're actually addicted to it, um, I, uh, it's just like this, when you participate in something, you're kind of going to want to do it more naturally, um, we're just creatures of habit, but this is for all the people that maybe have a problem with this, it's just like, it can seem really hard at first if you want to stop doing it. But I've seen this and noticed this a couple times. That's why I'm acknowledging this and telling you this. When you get past like the first week and first two, it's it's super easy. It actually gets easier for the most part. Now, there will be times and urges that you will experience. And, uh, you know, it's all about where you're kind of like devoting your energy to. or And... Um, that's I know there's like practices where they that can uphold yourself from being like horny and making you feel some type of way now it's natural to feel that but also you know I feel like there's greater things above it you know I haven't gone super long but I do plan on going long um, I've also been through a whole lot of stuff and I necessarily don't feel the same also I was numb and I couldn't feel anything for the last couple of years so me even having sex or ejaculating I didn't feel it at all it wasn't uh, it just I didn't feel anything and uh, that's because the issue that I had and that's in a whole nother video I'm not gonna get to it but I had a lot of experiences that I guess I'd say maybe the average person normal person wouldn't have actually real crucial experiences and they're actually like blessings blessings in disguise if you want to say that and again some other things that uh happen as more creativity will come to you uh maybe you'll feel more motivated to do things and again you'll have more energy because that's a loss of energy. Basically, you are spitting out pretty much plasma, which is, uh, like I said, there's nothing wrong with doing it. I want to emphasize that. But holding that energy in will uh, manifest in the other things, basically. And I, I, I truly believe in this. I do believe, and it sounds right. Like, if you are depressed, whether it's like an addiction, again, I'll say, I'll say this again. It's harder if you like, let's say you jack off or you have sex. You're just, I, I know, I know off of my heartbeat, you're just gonna wanna do it more. If you don't do it for like two weeks or do it for a month, whatever way it is, 
you actually will not be as interested in it. Um, you know, and there's other things too, such as, uh, you know, images, girls, like if you see like, you know, people, uh, if it's really like haunting you, like, oh, you see something such as like a half naked girl, you know, maybe do something about that, whether it's on Instagram, maybe the media, don't watch that stuff. Maybe defriend these people if they're just out here to, uh, it, not what, not their intention, but you know, it could be their attention, their intention to grab your attention into stuff, which is fine. And there's nothing wrong with strippers and the porn industry, whatever they want to do at the end of the day, whatever. Some people are just going to have sex all the time. That's what they want to do. Or maybe it's their destiny to be a porn star or just a stripper or a prostitute, whatever it is. Maybe they had to do that. Um, but it's all a decision at the end of the day. It definitely is. And what I'm getting at is, uh, you know, maybe defriend these people or not watch into this, um, if it's not doing you any good, you know, that's something if, if you have a friend that just, or maybe no, not a friend, maybe just someone who just sent you a friend request and is basically always showing, you know, appealing stuff to you, like private parts or something, sexual attraction, well, maybe you don't need that, uh, in your life maybe you can just say i mean if you're friends with them and you're fine with it fine but if i'm talking about people that have addictions and people that can't stop it because the truth is no fap actually gets easier once you get past the first like week or two it actually does get easy you will get urges you know what i mean depending on your testosterone and how horny you are but you can redirect that energy to uh, manifest things to help other people just, or just uh, do other things in your own life whether whatever it is for your own soul purpose and that's just endless right there um also when to touch on real quick about like depression and people who are depressed i guarantee you if you don't have sex for probably a month to three months or coming or ejaculation whatever it is you'll feel happier. You won't have depression. Um, I'm not, I can, I don't want to guarantee it, but I can, I can guarantee it. If you, if you have, if you, if you have depression, um, or you'll feel happier too, if, you know, if that's even possible, you might just be a super happy person. I guarantee you, you'll feel uh, better. Just hands down. You definitely will. You'll definitely feel better. And depression will probably just go away. Um, it's really, it's kind of subtle and you have to be real conscious of it too. So let's say you do get horny, you know what I mean? It's actually only happens for, you know, a period of like maybe a couple under a minute, really. You just don't put focus to it. A lot of people just put the focus to it in consciousness. And that's fine if that's what you want to do. But if you want to expire to other things or maybe you have su such a thing as like a drain of fatigue or you don't have that much energy or you're trying to be a little bit more creative or you're just trying to manifest other things in your life because there's a lot of things beyond the physical in this world or the societies and civilizations we live in or a lot are attracted to the physical things, materialistic things. Whether it was forced upon us, or it's just a conscious time in the universe, or maybe just a lot of people are succumbing to that, or attracted to that. Who knows? There's probably an answer a little bit that divide, that goes into all, all of those that I retrospectively just said. Um, I've just always been the person not to do what everyone else wanted to do. So, <laughs> if that makes you... <clears throat> see kind of and it's not that I don't want to do what everyone else did do it it just it didn't attract me what everyone else did basically it never really attracted me I was never one per se to follow the bandwagon or uh do what everyone else was doing in fact it actually did the opposite and it bored me and pushed me away from it and didn't interest me at all and uh there's multiple examples of this, but I don't want to go off topic, but just as like smoking cigarettes, for example, everyone told me I was going to smoke cigarettes, 
when I get older. All the people that would smoke cigarettes, <laughs> for the most part. But some people said that. But the truth is, a lot of people told me not to smoke cigarettes. And I just was never interested in it or fond of it. And I never did smoke a cigarette my entire life. Now, I have smoked <laughs> black and milds and blunts, that being said, but I've never smoked an actual cigarette. Uh, and the only reason I even smoked a black and mild was even different reasons because I was couldn't smoke basically butt at the time, and that's why I went to smoke the black and milds. But I guess you could say that technically is a cigarette, but an actual cigarette I haven't. You could say they're the same, but oh well. I just wanted to say, like, a lot of people were going to say, like, it was pretty much, like, 50-50. A lot of people, no one's ever told me, like, hey, smoke cigarettes. And if they have, which is only one person, he's that absolute, like, asshole is my stepdad. <laughs> and I'm um, saying it more jokingly. But I never really was fond of it or even interested in it. And that, interested in it. And a lot of people told me not to smoke cigarettes like no one's actually other than like a stepdad everyone's told me not to smoke cigarettes for the most part there's people who said oh, wait till you get older and you start smoking when i used to be like in the basketball courts and playing with older people they'd be like oh yeah we'll wait they were always like out of gas and even though they were out of gas like out of breath um they would still go and smoke cigarettes and then try to play again it was like you know you're just gonna get defeated at that point <laughs> Um, so that was just something to say, uh, and I feel like there's another thing where, like, a lot of sex is pushed onto us, uh, through manipulation, especially in childhood, uh, some people don't even got a choice, like, especially, like, sex people, children who are sex trafficked kid, and, uh, things along those lines, which, that's very unfortunate, but, you know, Hopefully they get out of that and they can make their own choices. And, you know, some people, you know, use it as like a stress reliever. And that's fine too. But I, uh, just something seems to change like after. I don't feel as good after it. Now, if I was planting a seed, I never really had the intentions like, hey, I'm going to bang this girl or person and plant a seed. I've never really had that intention. I never wanted to, especially any of the people that I've been with. And obviously when I was younger, that really wasn't on my mind either. Because in fact, I actually don't want a, a kid, especially right now in time. Now, a lot of people have aspirations to have a kid. And I'm not even going to get into that. But I just don't, I don't, because I've, you know, people aren't going to understand. That's all, I, and I understand that too, of some of the tensions behind it. Everyone thinks it's, it's natural to the to degree that I actually have sex and uh, uh, want to uh, have a kid for the most part. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's all about what you want. But at this point, I don't want a kid right now at the point of my life. And there's multiple reasons for that. More so because financially, and I'm still discovering myself. And I feel like a kid really changes your life. And so, yeah. Um, I'm going to be practicing on this journey. I mean, I'll probably do maybe month to month updates or whenever I feel like it. Um, I just know I've always felt some type of way after, you know, I will say this. I definitely felt a lot different when, you know, when it became the, like masturbation and completely to actually having sex and coming. I feel like there are definitely energies. I just felt like maybe between masturbation I felt like I betrayed myself I know it sounds really weird but maybe you can relate to whereas to um I felt uh see it's like it's I want to state this real quick it's like a high like you get high real quick but then it goes away there's actually a longer high in the long run to me you know, that's what it seems like. There's a longer high if you uh, abstain from it, basically. Right? Just energetically, because we are energy. And at the end of the day, you want the most energy. And when you come or ejaculate or whatever, you're giving off energy.
actually very subtle energy but it's actually a lot and yeah i just kind of want to develop kind of like spiritually i guess that's i it's weird like whether i chose it or it chose me it's kind of a little bit of both but i feel like it hit me first spiritually in the last couple of years and now i just kind of want to pursue it and follow it it seems to be uh yeah and like I said, the high, the high comes on like you feel real good, but then it goes away. I mean, for me, I'm just all state. I'm just standing from my experience for most of this. And yeah, if you want to subscribe to my channel, um, I'm gonna keep you, you know, maybe motivate you, talk about other health aspects and other interesting things and keep you up to date of how my journey is going and my experience is uh, going. Just know like I've also been through a super lot and I kind of like lost, I used to have like a lot of lust and uh, it's I lost a lot of that, pretty much everything, pretty much all my sins like addiction to certain foods and uh, lust. Lust is the biggest one, I would say. Lust is definitely the biggest one. Lust is actually how I got into a lot of things. Uh, a lot of, uh, you know, how I got to where I am today, actually. And, you know, everyone's going to have a different journey, though. So, I talk about a bunch of things on my channel. And, you know, that's actually going to be one of the things I talk about. How everyone has a different journey. But that's basically all I have for now. Just be really, like see what's going on just like if you do feel real horny or something like that just push it to the side if you put attention to it then there's going to be attention there if you just push it to the side maybe you'll feel greater maybe you, that uh depression will alleviate uh maybe you'll manifest something maybe you'll end up doing something else don't believe what people don't say because i mean <laughs> what i was just gonna say is everything matters and it definitely does Everything you do matters in every way. It does. So take that into consideration. Everything does matter. And they have ripple effects in your life. So. And it's also not the end of the world if you make a mistake. Because there's no such thing as a mistake or error. They're basically learning lessons. But uh. Take what you want from that. So. That's pretty much all I have to say. So have a nice day. <laughs>